Um, yeah, uh, so let's now switch to uh, um, to new, uh, new headsets. Uh, a lot will be going on this year. Um, so um, things like minimalized XR glasses, like Samsung and Apple. Um, but uh, what do you think uh, will be the milestone for this year? What are you waiting for, guys? Yeah, well, I would say the um, it's obviously when, well, one of the biggest ones. So believe it or not, the biggest headset in the world at the moment is it's not the Quest. It's the PlayStation PSVR 1, which came out about four or five years ago. Because there are so many PlayStation consoles out there, there's only about, you know, 5% of all those consoles that have got the VR headset. But that's still more than than uh, uh, I was going to say. Facebook Meta have mm -hmm. sold of their uh, of their Oculus uh, Quest, which is the the next highest selling one. So this year, PlayStation's bringing out the PSVR two, which is going to be a much you know big upgrade to the last one. And I have a feeling that this will be a really big release, or it'll it'll really make it much more mainstream just because so many people have playstations at home but you'll need the i'm pretty sure you'll need the the latest ps5 um but it's uh that could really change it's got all of the latest technologies like um super high resolution it's 4k in each eye it's got eye tracking as well so the games they're going to be able to write games that uh, will use the eye tracking features. You, you know, you might even be able to play without needing any controller at all and just use your eyes to navigate around the game. Um, it's got headset haptics, which is one of the, which is where, you know, if you can imagine if you if you, if you got shot or something, you'd, you'd feel it in your head that uh, uh, something's happened. So it'll be a, a very realistic uh, and it'll be a very good execution of the platform just because PlayStation are very good at, um, and and all the vendors that write the games for them uh, will will write really good games for it. So um, I'd say uh, watch out for that one. Um, and and the big elephant in the room, of course, is is Apple. Um, they uh, there's been rumours for a, a number of years now that they're working on a headset. We don't still know for sure, but you know that could get announced this year at. Um, at the Apple uh, conference in uh, in June this year, but uh, it, it it will be a game changer, just like the, they did with the uh, <coughs> with the iPhone. Um, that was the last major revolution of the internet when when uh, smartphones came along, totally changed the way we use the internet. Um, <coughs> I think um, the first Apple headset will be extremely expensive, like everything Apple. Yeah. Um, uh, it will be a game changer because they'll they'll execute it very well, cause like they always do, and suddenly the world will notice. And I think as soon as they get into the fray, um, it'll become much much more um, mainstream. Um, mm -hmm. And eventually, mm -hmm. of course, we'll get to the point. It'll be just the first generation, and it'll be not very good it will be a little bit disappointing but their next and the one after that they'll eventually have glasses and it's so, going to be glasses yeah. that take over our our phones and so we'll apple, apple as a trendsetter again yeah, yeah yeah absolutely like they have before and they've got so much money they're going to do it really well <laughs> they're they're such a wealthy company they can and they can afford to fail if it fails they'll go oh okay mm -hmm. um so um yeah so, so they're the two big ones i think mm -hmm. so the psvr2 is coming this year you said it's already yeah confirmed. yeah it's already yeah. announced they've got the pictures of it it's oh, wow. probably going to be in q3 or that. q4 of this year that's awesome but yeah all the all the uh specs are out they've got the photos of it it's got very good controllers yeah. it is still on a lead it's not it's not wireless yeah. um but it is uh very high uh resolution it's 4k per eye so it's yeah. 8k yeah i mean if you have the ps5 there giving the whole support mm. you can really push 
uh, yeah. the, the specs. But I'm a big fan of standalone. Like I, I'm not yeah. that interested in PC VR. Like PS, of course, PS5 because then it's already there the console you need anyway. But PC yeah. VR doesn't interest me that much. But standalone, I think like for me, the Oculus Quest to especially no, game changing game. the whole thing. Yeah. Like it, yeah. it's so much better, and you can just bring it, and you know, it's another story. And I would love to see how the standalone headsets are gonna develop further. Yeah, and I think so. And I think uh, why companies like um, Pico as well, which are the main, uh, com well, a competitor to the Quest, um, they are a Chinese company, but they um, they have very similar, almost exactly the same specs as the Quest. Um, but uh, they don't require a, a Facebook log on, you know, that's one mm. of the, one of the things about, about the uh, quest is that you, you need a Facebook log on, although I've heard that they're, they're changing that and you will be able to just use it without needing a Facebook ID, mm -hmm. which is, which is really good because that's what people don't like. Yeah, it's really, it are, no are we going, uh, are we going to have something new from uh, Meta or Facebook? after uh you know a uh, big uh, you know yeah the meta first concept so yeah the meta quest pro or this called project cambria at the moment uh -huh. um that could come out in quick q4 of this year but that will be like an ar headset it's going to have high resolution cameras on the front of it and you'll have color pass through at the moment they've only got black and white pass through now pass through means you're wearing the headset and you can see the things around you but you do see it in a sort of blurry black and white it's not a you know it's not very sharp so mm -hmm. this this will be another game change if they do this really well you know that will be a really really good headset because to be able to mix xr it'll be a true xr headset where you can have vr and you can have ar as well in the one headset um that's what uh, like Vario do that now. But if you want one of those, they cost about six or seven thousand um, pounds. But they do it very well. But if they can make that into a much cheaper, if that's what uh, Meta are working on, um, which is what the main rumor is, that's what it'll be. It'll have full color AR. Um, <coughs> excuse me, um, mm -hmm. and it'll have face tracking as well, as well as eye tracking. So. It's, it'll be another game changer, I think. 